Uh, this week we are going to be looking at Mortal Kombat Trilogy. This might be the, one of the longer ones, considering Mortal Kombat Trilogy was um, what you might think. The first three games, but it's a little bit different. See, I haven't actually played Trilogy at all. I don't know how, like, um... I don't know how it works, but, like, I do... What I do know is that it has every character from the whole roster. Like, it has, um, characters... It has, like, let's just say... It has the Mortal Kombat 1 version of Liu Kang and the Mortal Kombat 3 version of Liu Kang in the same game. And it has all the characters from every roster in this game. So this is going to be interesting. And if this does turn out way shorter than I thought it would be... We might be doing Mortal Kombat 4, but don't get your hopes up. Let's do this. Alright, let's see this. Oh, I remember this one. Oh, man, it's, it's painful. Man, okay, let's do this. Oh, wow. Just keep his arms like no. You would imagine like the head would be squished in or something. Oh yeah, that's funny. <laughs> oh, is this gonna be like? Oh, never mind. Whoa! Apparently, when you break someone's back, they just explode. I remember this one. <laughs> oh, you can hear the beatings. Ah, that's gonna hurt. Man. Whoa, whoa. I feel like a few characters have that attack. Like, I have noticed this. Okay, before we continue, I just want to share a little fact with you guys. So, the purple ninja, Rain, he is, is actually the, um,. His character is actually based off the Prince song, Purple Rain, because his name is Rain, the, his color of his suit is purple, and his storyline states that he is the Prince of Edenia. So yeah, the famous Prince song gets his Mortal Kombat intro. So yeah, his Prince is probably under that mask. Oh, that's painful. You just missed some whole body. Oh man, that is brutal. <laughs> it's not as enjoyable as the number three, from what I remember. Let's see what happens. Whoa! Okay. There are some powerful uppercuts in this game. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't actually played this version of the game, so you yeah, know, <laughs> this is a little weird for me. Oh man, that is a classic. That's gonna be since MK1. Ooh, smoke. I'm not sure anyone from that. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Like, sheesh. Okay, Chameleon. 
Uh, this character was actually another funny character that was actually made. Um, so Chameleon, um, he's actually, uh, he was a joke character. So as it turns out, um, his origin, like, when you look back at Mortal Kombat 1, Sub-Zero and Scorpion look, and Reptile look exactly the same, but with different colors. So, like, when looking back on it, um, every, other, every character was just a recoloration. Which is why some of them have the same moves as each other. Fun fact, by the way. And Chameleon, whenever he changed a certain color, he would fight as that character. So if he was red, he'd fight like Ermac. If he was yellow, he'd fight like Scorpion. That was just a joke, just to like point out the fact that uh, it was just to point out the fact that they had so many ninjas, oh, but they were all the same with different colors. So you know. <laughs> I like how they just leave the boots there, that's funny. Ooh. That hurt that that that's gonna sting. But noting that this is Mortal Kombat, nobody actually dies. What is with exploding people? I see. I swear I see three versions of a skull there. Oh, he's gonna. Yep. Man, I feel like so many people have a. Why are like so many fatalities in this game and revolved around an uppercut king? <laughs> I feel like yeah, I feel like so many fatalities evolve around <laughs> and then they're just exploding or their head flies off. I feel like Chameleon is like one of those weird characters. There are a lot of chameleon ones. Yep, I'll do it for you. Why does Chameleon- Chameleon has every fatality. Bouncy balls are dangerous, kids. I, I don't want to skip these because I want to watch like every fatality, but seriously, this is ridiculous. Ooh, and there we go. And there it goes. Like I said. Victory. Fatality. Man. Oh, wait, you're playing Shao Kahn this week. Oh, wait. Wow, I had no idea Shao Kahn actually had fatalities. Because when I play Ultimate, I'm, wait, you're gonna wait when Tarot's a fatality? Well, little known fact: in Ultimate Mortal Kombat three, there was a cheat code to get Montaro and Shao Kahn, but they would just instantly chill. There was no fatality for either character. So this is amazing. Like I never seen this. Oh man. Oh, it was a painful thing. Oh, they had a girl version too? Are you serious? Really? I thought I thought the girl version didn't come until Armageddon. I guess I was wrong. Oh great, here we go again. Like, she's practically invisible. You can barely see that character outline. And what is this, like, the smoke version? Oh, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, that's, that's painful, man. Great, okay, we just get to watch all the female fatalities. 
they were pretty good, but this character is actually a really good character. I mean, you can play as any, like, of the cord ones, and you can also tell that the females have a similar thing like the ninjas do. Yeah, like that. Like, it's just really weird to see. How long has it been? Jeez, I've been playing almost 30 minutes of this. It's been a week. Man. It's actually been a week since I did the last one, so you know. Oh! I wonder what happened to that other guy. Hey, look! It's one of the creator's heads. And actually really funny. They put a lot of, uh, creativity in these characters. <laughs> Oh, wait, like, I think I heard the sound effect. That was pretty funny. Let's see this again. I remember that one. That hurts. <laughs> Ow. Man. Okay, let's see this one now. Oh. Oh! Turn into a little bit. Oh. So this must be Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero Mythologies, if I'm correct. That's why this is so long, because they're also doing Mortal Kombat spin-off games. So I guess next week we're going to be watching Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero Mythologies Fatalities. So yeah, because uh, Trilogy turned out to be very long. So I guess we'll see you guys next week in, um, in Mythologies. Goodbye!